Okay, so in the previous video, we talked about Klepto's flyball race times in seconds, and we constructed a frequency distribution table and histogram. Here is our table, and here is our histogram. Okay, so what we want to do in this video is add to this frequency distribution table two more columns, one column for the relative frequency, and another column for the cumulative frequency. Okay, so starting with the relative frequency. Relative frequency is the frequency relative to the total. So recall the total is just the sample size. Okay, so in other words, the number of data that you had in your original data set. Okay, you can also get the total by summing up all of your frequencies in the frequency column. That should also be your sample size. So starting with uh, the first class between 4.3 and 4.6 seconds, there were four observations on the frequency between those two times. All right, so four out of 36. So four relative to the total of 36 observations, okay? And this four out of 36 can be reported as a fraction, a decimal, or a percentage. My favorite way to provide you know, my relative frequencies is uh, with a percentage. So I'll go ahead and multiply this by 100%, and I'll get 11.1%, okay? Okay. So for the next class, I'll just take 6 out of 36, right? 6 relative to the total of 36 observations. There were 6 observations between 4.7 and 5.0. Multiply that by 100%, and I get 16.7%, okay? And I can continue like this for the next three classes. 15 observations in the third class out of 36. 10 observations out of 36 in the fourth class, and lastly, one observation out of 36 in the last class, okay? If you add up your relative frequencies, you should get 100%, okay? And when I do this, I get 100.1%. And what's going on there is some rounding error. And that's okay. You know, it should be approximately 100%. All right? Uh, if I added them up without rounding, then I would have gotten exactly 100%. Okay. So moving on to cumulative frequencies. In cumulative frequencies, we cumulate the frequency as we, as we go from our first class to our last class, okay? So uh, our first class, we started with four observations, and then we add on six observations to get to, and then, and then to get 10, and then we add on 15 observations to get 25, add on 10 to get 35, and then add on one to get 36. Your cumulative frequency at the end should be the same as the sum of all of your frequencies, right? So it should be the same as your total, okay? So there you go. That's how you add on columns for the relative frequency and the cumulative frequency to your frequency distribution table.